All right. Now, we've got a list of question of the week, Craig. And which HubSpot tools have folders and which have subfolders? So, you've actually created a really nice layout here that explains which tools have folders and which have subfolders. And so, do you want to quickly go through this? Yes. And I'll just say this was from, I think I last updated this in December. So, possibly they're rolling out this. It might be a little bit out of date. But at the time, each of the tools lists folders, yes. Subfolders, yes. Emails, yes. Folders, subfolders, yes. But then we've got real inconsistency. For example, landing pages versus website pages. Do you know you can have folders for landing pages and subfolders, but you can't for website pages? Don't understand it. Inconsistent. Forms, you can only have folders, no subfolders. Anyway, the whole table is here. I'm not going to read through them all. Just really to highlight that it's inconsistent, it's confusing, and so this table might just help you have a look at that uh, and get a bit more order. We really like portals to be as organized as possible. We use folders where we can. It's not available everywhere. And we also use subfolders uh, where we can uh, as well. So, uh, especially workflow, uh, workflows, emails, and pages, we tend to use them a lot. So, there you go. The other thing to note, though, is, and I think maybe this is why HubSpot has kind of been a bit slow to <laughs> roll out folders uniformly, is they're going for this new views approach, you know, contacts you can create views. Yes. Um, with pages and landing pages, they've got this views format now. I think it might still be in beta. I don't know if it's fully released. But they're going for more of a views approach. And I get it. And I think views are probably the way to go. So once that's rolled out everywhere, maybe this becomes less important. But yep, there's listener question and there's the answer. Get the show notes and you can have that table and guide yourself with that. 